Wow. Oh, another left, and another, and a right, and a left. A right, and uppercut, two uppercuts. Oh, left hand, another. Shamrock goes down again, kick to the head. The year was 1997, it was Super Brawl 3. I'd consider it the first world-class match we put on in Super Brawl. Frank Shamrock versus John Lober. My partner, Ode Haugen, and I had just got back from Dothan, Alabama, where we watched a young, unknown fighter named John Lober lose a fight to Igor Zinoviev, but look really tough in the process. But Frank Shamrock was definitely the headline fighter. Fighting out of his brother Ken Shamrock's lion's den, he was the current king of prank race in Japan and had a storied career to this point, though this would be his first true no-holds-barred fight. And when I say this was a no-holds-barred fight, the rules were no eye gouging and no groin strikes. Everything else went, and it was a 30-minute running time fight. The large crowd at the Blaisdell Arena definitely came out to watch flashy Frank Shamrock. Lober entered the ring with little fanfare, looked kind of like he was out of straight of the backwoods of Kentucky, though he was a tough kid from Huntington Beach, California. The crowd was excited when Frank comes to the ring with his brother Ken Shamrock in tow, matching sweatsuits, rippled body, it was clear this was the guy everyone came to see. By the time referee Steve English gives the final instructions, fight starts, Frank comes out, lands a quick takedown, dominates control, dominates striking, headbutts. At one point during a referee break, Lober goes for his corner, pointing at his tooth, saying he lost it. John just lost it. Wow. That's where it came from. That's There's John tooth. Lober's tooth. This seemed like it may have been the catalyst for John. Lober was now dominating position and striking, and at one point landed a headbutt that sounded like two fresh coconuts clonked together. Uh, Gaspin, so he goes there, so. there, but... Yep. Yep. He mm. called that one. Although, John trying to strike his way out of trouble here. Very unusual. I mean, most guys are more concerned. Oh, oh boy. Aggressive. How many minutes are you in this fight? Yeah, almost 10 minutes, over 10 minutes in. Oh, oh that's a straight left hand that knocks down Frank Shannon. Oh, with a heel hook. Yeah, it looks oh. like it. Those are two more big right hands to the head of Frank Shannon. Like a stock standing up. Look. Wow, John's standing up. Wow. Oh! Another left, and another, and a right, yeah, and a left. Yeah. A right, and uppercut, yeah, two yeah. uppercuts. Oh, left hand, and another. Yeah. Shamrock goes down again, yeah. kick to the head. You could start to sense the change in attitude from the crowd, and at some point, we start hearing the chant, Shamrock sucks. Yeah, we're about 20 minutes in here. <laughs> <laughs> the locals did come out to see Frank Shamrock, but one thing you need to know about Hawaii is we do love our underdogs. Frank's going to end it looking for points, but yeah. not oh, sure. they don't want to stop yet. Two strong competitors, 30 minutes of action here in the super fight. The crowd getting their money's worth, bet behind John Lober. The toothless John Lober now, a, a big star here in Honolulu. From Huntington Beach, California, John Machine. A couple notes about what happened after the fight. At one point, when the crowd's cheering for Lober, he goes to the edge of the ring, pulls out a second tooth and throws it into the crowd and just smiles at him with two missing teeth. That night I talked to Frank, I said, Frank, can I get you painkillers or anything like that? And Frank, as tough as he is, said, no, I'm fine. I get a call from him the next morning. He says, do you have any doctors that can get me Vicodin? And don't worry about Frank. He went on to win 13 straight fights, including the first under 200 pound UFC championship belt, beating Tito Ortiz. Once again, I hope you're liking these stories half as much as I'm enjoying telling them. Please like and share. Let's spread this stuff around. We'll see you next time. I'm TJ Thompson.